This time we're going to be looking at how to find the unknown value of a ratio. Okay, so this time you're going to work with some equations and you're going to be solving them algebraically. So let's try, starting with question 10. It says find x for when 2 over 3 is exactly the same as x on 15. When two ratios are equal, I want you to find that unknown value. If a fraction equals to a fraction, then you can always cross multiply. So if I, what I mean is you can multiply 3 by x and 2 by 15. So that's when a fraction equals to a fraction. 3 times x is 3x and 2 times 15, that's what you put on the other side. Okay, so 3x equals to 2 times 15. First of all, 2 times 15 is 30, so simplify. So to get x, we need to, what do we need to do with the 3? Because it's 3x, we need to divide by 3. x will be 30 on 3, which is just 10. Now you can kind of see here guys, 3 times what is 15? It's 5. So to get x, you just do the same thing to the 2. 2 times 5 is 10. That's how you can also get it. But sometimes it's not exact, it's not very clear. So that's when I want you to just use the cross multiplication. Okay? But anyway, that was question 10. Question 11, again, we'll do the exact same thing. So what I want you to do is just stick to the cross multiplication, just to be really clear. I'm going to multiply the 4 with the 3x and 9 with the 14. 4 times 3x is 12x and 9 times 14, I'll just put it over here. Now 9 times 14 divided by 12 will get you x because we want to get rid of that 12, right? So just divide by it. And calculate it, guys, it should be 21 on 2. You can just leave it as a fraction. Question 12 again, go ahead and cross multiply. So we're going to multiply the 6 with the 21 and 7 with this entire x plus 2. So 7 times x plus 2, used brackets, is equal to 6 times 21. Now we can say that x plus 2 is 6 times 21 divided by 7 because we want to get rid of the 7. And watch this guys, if it's 6 times 21 divided by 7, we can just do this first. What's 21 divided by 7? That's 3. So that's how I get the 3 there. So you don't have to calculate everything together. Now 6 times 3, we know that's 18. So if x plus 2 is 18, what do we do with the 2? We subtract 2. So x is 18 minus 2, which is 16. 13. So because all you need to do is multiply the 12 and the 15 together, and then 5 with the 2x plus 4. So multiply that. 5 bracket 2x plus 4 is equal to 12 times 15. And again, you can see that 15 and 5, it has a common factor of 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. So that's why I write 3 here. 12 times 3 is 36, so just simplify that. And let's get rid of this plus 4. So you move it over to the other side by doing subtraction. So 36 minus 4 is 32. So 32 divided by 2 is simply 16. That is the answer. 14. So you multiply x minus 1 with 1 and 2 with 2x plus 4. Just like this. So 2 times 2x plus 4 equals 2. x minus 1 times 1 is just x minus 1. I'm going to expand it all out. So I don't want brackets because I want to gather my like terms. So you have to expand it out first. So 2 times 2x, we get 4x, and 2 times 4, we get 8. Now let's gather all the like terms. So I'm going to gather all the x's on my left-hand side, and all the constant numbers, I'm going to move it over to the right-hand side. So 4x minus x, I want to get rid of that x, so move it over here, which becomes 3x, and negative 1 minus 8 becomes negative 9. Now we want to get rid of that 3. So we just divide by 3, which is negative 3. That's as simple as it is. Question 15. This time it's in a ratio form, okay, that colon form. But as I said, ratios are treated exactly the same as fractions. For those who don't like using this method, you can just go change it to a fraction. And then we do the usual thing. We do 12 times x minus 6 and 7 times 36. And then we get that. I want to divide by the 12 because I want to get rid of the 12. And what's 36 divided by 12? It's 3. So I can change this 36 because I've divided by 12 into 3. Okay, and 7 times 3 is simply 21. So if x minus 6 is 21, let's get rid of the negative 6 by adding 6. So 21 plus 6 
is simply 27 and that's the answer. Now I'm going to show you a little trick guys. When you see ratios like this, if you, you don't really necessarily have to change it to a fraction. You can if you find that more comfortable, that's perfectly fine. But when you see a ratio guys, what you could do is, see how 7 and 36 are the inside numbers? So they're close numbers. And 12 and x minus 6 are the outside numbers, right? So to solve this, we multiply the insides together and then we multiply the outsides together. Okay, so we go 12 times x minus 6. So the outside numbers multiply together. And the inside numbers, 7 and 36, we multiply those together as well. And you can see that this is exactly the same as this step here. So it's basically the same thing as cross multiplication. 16, find x for 2x minus 1 dot dot x plus 2. So this is one ratio, that to that. And this is another ratio, 2x plus 1 to x plus 4. I'll just change it to a fraction for you. So it's going to be that over that equal to that over that. And just do your normal cross multiplication. So I'm going to multiply 2x minus 1 with x plus 4. Make sure you have brackets. And I'm also going to multiply x plus 2 with 2x plus 1. Use brackets. Now, unfortunately, guys, you have to go ahead and expand everything else up, everything out. Otherwise, you can't simplify them. So this one is going to be 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 1 is x. And then 2 times 2x is 4x. That's how we get 5x. Okay, and then 2 times 1 is 2. Now we've expanded it, let's gather the like terms. And you can see that 2x squared and 2x squared is exactly the same. If I move this over to the other side, it will be minus 2x squared, and that will make 0. So these just cancel out. Now let's gather all the x's together on one side. So I have 7x minus 5x if I move them all to the left. So I'm going to move the negative 4 over to the right, so it becomes a plus 4. Let's simplify. 7x minus 5x is 2x, 2 plus 4 is 6. Now divide both sides by 2, we get 3. So x is 3 is the answer. Question 17. Everyone, guys, please, I think you guys can try this. Have a shot, okay? I think you guys can try this yourselves. Just try it on a piece of paper, pause, and watch me to check the answers. All right? Again, it's a ratio, this to this to this to this. So I'm going to make it into a fraction form. Cross multiply, guys. So 2x plus 1 times x plus 4 equals to x plus 4 times x plus 5. Expand it out like this. I've just expanded this out like this and this out like this. Now we need to gather the like terms. So I'm going to gather my x squares together, my x's together, and my constants together. I always like to use shapes for like terms. Let's move the x squared over to the left. So we have 2x squared minus x squared, which becomes just x squared, right? 9x and 9x is exactly the same, so they will just cancel out. And 4, if I move that over to this side, we'll have 20 minus 4, which is 16. So we get x squared is 16. So what's x, guys? For those who said 4, you're wrong, you need a big smack on the bum. Because this is not just 4, guys. Please remember that the answer is plus or minus 4. Please don't forget the other answer, negative 4. Okay, that's where everyone forgets and makes mistakes and lose marks. The answer is plus or minus 4. You've got to remember that one. There's two answers for this one. That was 17 and that was the end of that second part.